can human made tools discovered in Tamil Nadu that date back to 3 lakh years 300000 years before today can that challenge the out of africa migration theory does it mean possi possibly that humans may have originated from india okay so we have stone tools that have been found in uh, i forget the name of the place one place in tamil nadu another place in karnataka and these stone tools date back not 3 lakh years they date back potentially one and a half million years before today, 15 lakh years before today, 15, 1.5 to 1 million years before today. That's uh, what is it? I don't, okay, I forget the name, but yeah. So you have stone tools made by archaic humans that have been discovered in various parts of India, Tamil Nadu, as well as Karnataka, that date between a million to a million and a half years before today. That's way before the so-called out of Africa migration. The out of Africa migration is said to have happened between, 50, between 80 to 55,000 years before today. Less than 1 lakh years before today. Right? But we have stone tools in India that date back potentially million and a half years before today. Million and a half years before today. So does that completely destroy the out of Africa migration theory? Does it now? And we also have uh, fossil human remains from the Narmada, from Narmada Valley that date back to about 3 lakh years before today, roughly 300,000 years before today. Now, what is all this? Does it not destroy, debunk the out of Africa migration theory? The thing is this, the remains that we find in the Narmada, the Narmada Valley those remains are not of Homo sapiens. Those are remains of Homo erectus, most likely, an archaic human species. And the stone tools that we find in uh, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka that date back to a million and a half years before today, those once again were most likely made by Homo erectus. They are very similar to other stone tools you find in other parts of Eurasia which are definitely made by Homo erectus. So these are archaic humans who lived in the Indian subcontinent before Homo sapiens emerged in the fossil record. So the oldest evidence of Homo sapiens is about 400,000 years before today in Jebel Irhud, North Africa. That's the oldest fossil remains that we have of our species. Okay, modern humans, Homo sapiens. So these human-made tools discovered are not made by Homo sapiens. They are made by an older, archaic species of humans. Obviously our relatives, but not our ancestors. Our relatives, not our ancestors. Homo erectus. And that is fine. That does not have any consequence of the on the out-of-Africa migration theory, which is a theory with evidence, which has evidence, obviously. That's why it's widely accepted. And this theory is about the dispersal of Homo sapiens out of Africa. It doesn't say anything about Homo erectus or Homo anything else, Homo neanderthalis, etc. It's only about how Homo sapiens, us, us, how did we emerge out of Africa and populate the world? That's the out of Africa migration theory. And I've spoken about it many times, so I'll not go into the details. Uh, but that's the deal. Okay, so these stone tools, they do not challenge the out of Africa migration theory. They don't uh, mean that humans originated in India, nothing like that. Look, if new evidence appears, I will revise my understanding of how the world is. But based on the best evidence that we have today, the out of Africa migration theory is the best theory that we have so far. In the future, if more ev new evidence emerges, maybe genetic evidence, maybe archaeological evidence, maybe fossil evidence or whatever. Then, based on that, I will be happy to revise my understanding of the world. But right now, this is the best theory.